Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to my Freebie Friday oil class. I'm super pumped. Bonnie Donahue here. We have a great class today. And sorry, it took me a few minutes to get on late. My kids had all their arts and crafts out, so I just had them quickly <laughs> pick that up and, and uh, shut the door. So I am here. I am Bonnie Donahue, Diamond Leader in doTERRA. And I started using the oils about a year ago. Welcome, welcome everybody. Please introduce yourself and share where you're from. I just love to hear that. And also if you're new to oils or not. So I started last year thinking that oils were total, um, you know, I don't know how to describe them. They were like witchcraft or something, right? They were, they were not something holistic. They were something in your head. They were uh, something that you just wanted some you wanted a good smell right um, and so I was very skeptical I didn't really think that they were gonna do anything for me yay Southern California welcome Deborah I'm super pumped that you're here so I started using them because I to be honest I was desperate and I figured it was the last thing on the list the one thing that I haven't tried so I said, what the heck, I'll try these crazy things. And I literally just thought I would just cross them off the list and say, okay, they didn't work, I'll go on to the next thing. So what was happening for, to me for years was that I was slowly um, having really low energy, like chronic fatigue, adrenal fatigue. I went to doctors, um, you know, they're just saying you're a busy mom, you know, uh, that's just normal. And I started gaining weight. I started getting a lot of inflammation and um, then, you know, it was affecting my moods and depression and a bunch of other things. And so I uh, looked for some natural stuff, right? I was already into natural living and supplements and working out as much as I could and all that. But so I felt literally like something was missing. I felt like I was deficient of something, which is kind of crazy. And so I went to a, a naturopathic doctor and they found out that I actually did have uh, Lyme disease. So I had uh, blood work tested, right? And found out that it was confirmed. And so I was in the search for something else. So I went totally paleo. It's been a year and a half. I've been total paleo. That's been a huge, um, you know, blessing for me for my life everybody's different every you know eating plan is different for different people but for me that was a huge one and then I started incorporating the oils into my life and so at first I started using the oils to in two different ways I started using them on the bottom of my feet to boost my immune system and I'll share some of the ones that I I used with you I'm not diagnosing or curing or any of that kind of stuff here because we don't do that and second of all um, Everyone deals with different issues, right? Um, and then, so I was looking for immune building ones and then also I used the citrus oils to help with um, my mood and um, just the way I was feeling and energy. And so I noticed a huge difference with those. And then after about a month of that, I decided, um, well actually I found out that doTERRA has supplements. I didn't know they had supplements and I thought, well, what the heck, I'll just try them. I thought it was a little strange that an oil company was selling supplements, right? But then I learned that their supplements are their number one selling product of all of their products. So, so I really, again, thought they were, they were just not going to work. Um, I gave it a, a, a try, right? So I tried the products, the supplements, Lifelong Vitality, and they actually have 12 essential oils in there. So... Uh, that was the second month, and every month I started feeling better. Oh, the other thing that was wrong, that I was having severe PMS, like horrible, horrible, um, to the point where I was getting like cold and flu symptoms every single month, so I was like literally being the mom from the couch two months, or t every, every two weeks, right, uh, during my ovulation and then during my periods, I was um, cold and flu symptoms, coughing, sore throat, um, I was literally a mess and so I was going through this slowly and um, or you know privately didn't tell anyone right because it's embarrassing when you're going through health issues like that and I, I felt like I wasn't you know I wasn't I just felt like I wasn't good compared to everybody else right and so um, yeah Karen I need to take that one actually I forgot about that one <laughs> I take all the other ones um, so anyway after about six months of adding the oils and the supplements, I was 
a completely different person. Like so slowly each month I got better. I'm not gonna say I was a, I was a miracle overnight or anything like that, but I was slowly working on my emotions, working on my health. It was giving me energy to go work out again, to have better sleep, and just kind of helped the overall health, right? That's what we're looking for. Not just one area, but all the areas of health. And so after about six months of using the oils, and all the other doTERRA products, I really felt called to, to share these with others. So that's what I did. I decided to go all in. Uh, we started in September of, um, what year, 2016, so that was last year. It hasn't even been a year yet. And um, we have, since then, brought in thousands of people to our team because the oils work, people love it. We have one of the fastest growing teams in doTERRA. Uh, I was able to hit the diamond rank in five months and it just means that we're helping a lot of people and it's because we are so passionate. I'm so passionate about the oils and what they've done for me and so one of the things that I've been doing is a weekly online class just like this one where I can just share a glimpse of the oils, uh, how we use them, a 101 just to help people get started because I didn't have that when I got started. I wish that I had someone kind of holding my hand, helping me get started. Um, I had to do all the research on my own and I still always tell everyone to do their own research, right? Um, oh, Nikki says she can't see the video. Everyone else, can you guys see the video? Let me just double check. I see a lot of people on. I don't know why she can't see it. Nikki, can you hear me? I'm just gonna check here. I'll keep going also, because I think other people can see me. Um, okay, yeah, so they're saying, Margie's saying that it's on. Alrighty, so I don't know, maybe refresh the page to see if that would work. Um, okay, so I've been doing live classes like this one, and that's my goal, is just to help people get started, to navigate through the oils, how they can get started, and um, you know, just start incorporating them in, uh, okay, I'm just saying there's no problems. Okay, okay. so the first thing I wanna do, and also let me know, I know there's several of you guys on, there's gonna be a lot of people watching the recording too, so some of you guys, I wasn't reading all the comments. Who here is brand new to oils, who's never used an oil? Who already is using oils? If you are, what's your favorite oil? I'd love to hear. I know some of you guys just got started this week, so maybe you didn't even get your package yet, right? Um, there's so many cool things you could do with oils. I actually love learning from everybody, even though I feel like, you know, okay, I've been in it a year now, I feel like there's so much that I don't know. All right, I'm constantly learning. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. I'm gonna get up for one second here, um, because I'm actually gonna talk about this book at the end of the class too, but we were talking about doing your own research. This is a must for everybody, the Essential Life book. So actually one of my specials is to um, use this book in one of the specials that I'm doing today. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, that's the best book, it's called The Essential Life Book. It, you can get it from oillife.com, or now it's on Amazon, woohoo! Or if you're from Canada, it's um, on, oh gosh, I just found that website the other day. I forget the name of it. There is a Canadian website that sells it. And then if you're from Australia, I think you can get it from oillife.com, okay? You can get, uh, if you're from Canada, you can get it from um, oillife.com too, but it just costs you in shipping. So get from the Canadian website. That's what we've been telling all of our Canadians. Uh, we're in about 10 different countries now. So we're, you know, we're international. So, hey Doris, welcome Karen, Nikki, Margie, welcome Deborah, Kennedy, Welcome everybody. All right, so let's go right into it. So first of all, essential oils have been around for thousands of years, right? Um, I mean, the Egyptians used it thousands and thousands of years ago, thousands of BC, right? Um, the Egyptians were actually, they, they, they um, dug up some of the, the mummies, right? And they found that they were, they loved their oils so much that they were buried with their oils. And even thousands of years later, they were still potent. So that's kind of cool, right? That they, they last forever, right? Some of the citrus one, they'll last for three years. Um, all the other oils will last longer than you. The only way you can ruin an oil is if you had it, um, well, you gotta keep it in the dark bottles. That's why doTERRA uses the amber bottles. But then you just keep it out of the sunlight. Um, you have to keep it, they did a study, you have to keep it out 
125 degree Fahrenheit for 10 days in a row to damage the oil. So unless you're like living in Arizona and keeping in your car, you're probably not gonna damage them. So Margie says that they have totally changed your life and your side effect free now. Awesome, can you tell us your story? Um, what oils you're taking and how has it changed your life? I'd love to hear. And yeah, there's no side effects with oils too. Um, I know a lot of times you take medication, there's side effects with oils, there's no side effects and you're not addicted. Um, although you feel like you're addicted, right? You're always like, I need an oil to help me with my addiction of oils. But that's just because you feel so good and you just want to be, you know, keep that feeling going. So the Egyptians used um, the oils for health, cosmetic, and religious purposes, okay? Um, so, you know, when we say go back to nature, literally that's what they did. Um, Hippocrates used oils. His favorite one was oregano. They used that. That's a really, really, really good, strong, powerful oil, especially for the immune system. Um, if you've heard in the Bible that Jesus was gifted um, frankincense and myrrh, right? Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But frankincense and myrrh were, were considered more valuable than gold, right? And they, so they used those oils with the process for him and keep him healthy, but also um, to help Mary with childbirth and healing and all that. So it's, it's really interesting. And in fact, essential oils are, if you guys read the Bible or, or, or if you've heard of the Bible, essential oils have been listed in there over 300 times. So they use oils a lot in the Bible. Um, and Karen says that the, the doTERRA community has brought me a lot of hope and encouragement. That's awesome. Karen, I love, I love, love, love our community, right? Because we are, we are all trying to do um, better, right? But encouraging others to live a well-rounded life and positive and good with the, you know our emotions too, not just physical. But awesome, Karen. Um, the oils were used in the World War II on the soldiers to help them after they were in battle. Okay, so in 2008, DoTerra formed a co-impact partner with growers around the world. Um, and what I love about that, we're in 42 different countries, but they go to the farmers and the, the farmers that know what they're doing, where the oils are in their natural habitat. We'll talk more about that later, but um, they support the local businesses all around. They're trying to make a big impact on the whole world, not just, um, you know, one area. So now doTERRA is in 4 million homes. It's amazing. It's growing since 2008. Okay. We are the fastest growing oil company. Um, it's pretty amazing. Okay. Um, so what the first thing, the way I do my classes, I keep them super simple. So if you've been on before, you've probably heard a lot of the same stuff because, um, I like to keep it simple and also people that join my team, it, helps them to know what to do when they do their class. So we have one essential class and then we do it over and over and over again. And then um, we can do other classes too, but we just keep it simple. So if you've been on before, it might be a repeat. So we talk about three cool things about essential oils and three ways to use them. And then I'm going to go through some of my top oils. Okay. And then I'll share how you can get started and my deals for the day. So pretty excited. Okay. So Margie says she was diagnosed with fibromyalgia and osteoarthritis over 20 years ago. Was in a major was on major pharmaceuticals with horrible side effects. I used Deep Blue, all of them. So Deep Blue, we have um, the oils, we have the supplements, and a cream, and it has it's a major anti-inflammatory joint and muscle um, oil. Then Serenity for your sleep, uh, for your sleep apnea. TMJ blend, uh, which was, what's the TMJ blend? I haven't, I haven't, um, I don't know which one that one is. It says you make, um, I make up frankincense for stress with lavender, breathe for my allergies, and you use them in your culinary areas as well. Awesome. I love that. What blend is that? I'm drawing a blank on which blend unless you made up your own. So how long have you been using the oils? That's a good story. Love to hear about that. Okay, so the first thing you need to know about oils are they are 100% natural. Okay, and the one thing I'm talking about doTERRA, right? So I partnered with doTERRA because they're the best. They have the best quality, the highest quality. They have um, no artificial ingredients, right? So she's been using them since the end of March. Wow, that's powerful. Powerful. That's amazing. 
Um, wow. Okay, so with doTERRA's oils, nothing has been added to the oils and nothing's been taken away. So it is just the oil. So for example, peppermint that I'm holding here, I think it's backwards to you guys. Um, every every um, thing in nature, right, all the stuff we get our oils from, um, they're, they have oil sacks like on them. So like the peppermint leaf, if you were to magnify the peppermint leaf, um, you're gonna find little sacks. And that those little sacks are what keep the plant um, healthy and safe and, and against environmental threats. So they take the plants and they distill them and that's how they get the oils. So again, in the bottle, you're gonna get just the distilled oil from the oil sack. Again, they're not adding anything to it and they're not taking anything away, it's just the oil. So it's very, very, very concentrated. That's why one or two drops can really change your life, right? Um, so like one drop is equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea. So it's pretty crazy. They, the oils are 50 to 70% more supercharged than the actual herb. So it's really, um, like I said, just really powerful. It, it also, a lot of people, I feel like in the beginning I did too, I felt like oils were expensive, right? Because you see the price tag on it and you're like, oh my gosh, for this little bottle. So this one bottle has 250 drops and if you divided it up, it's eight cents a drop. Okay, so one of the things that peppermint, a lot of people use peppermint for, or if they're getting head tension, right, they'll put a drop on their temples and rub it in or behind their head. And so for like eight cents, you can get rid of a headache, <laughs> you know. And so if you think about it that way, and then there's no side effects, it's not addictive, it's not, um, you know, you don't need to take a probiotic after you take this, right, because you've ruined your insides. Um, oh, and so Margie says she made up her own blend so it's peppermint lavender frankincense and serenity awesome and then karen says she could testify to marge marge margie's uh, transformation last time she saw in florida your husband remarked how good she looked or great she looked yeah awesome oh and she puts on her draw line awesome so there's so many things that you can do let me talk about peppermint since we're on it it's a cooling oil so it will help you if you have a fever or when your kids do you can actually put it right on the spine a lot of women use it for heat flashes, right, if you're getting that heat flash. One of the things that we've been doing with it is we just have like a little spray bottle with water and if we're like outside in the heat at the beach, we could just spray a little on and it just cools you down, you know. I mean, it feels really good. Uh, we walk to church um, on Sundays and so some, sometimes we get sweaty just by walking there. Um, it's about a, less than a mile, but then we'll spray it on so it kind of cools us down before we have to sit for an hour. Anyway, there's different things you can do with peppermint. I like to add it to my lip gloss. So I have um, peppermint plump lips, right? Um, you can use it to help digestion. It literally does everything. It's good in your coffee. It's good in your hot chocolate. It's good if you just want to feel alert. Um, but a lot of people, again, it's kind of like the gateway to doTERRA, one of the oils, because of the head tension. You just put a drop, um, oh, you could even put it in your hand, a, one drop, and breathe it in. It helps with respiratory issues, okay? Um, yes, and she said, doesn't cure, but helps with symptoms almost immediately. Very effective. Very good. Um, yeah, so respiratory issues, digestion, cooling, peppermint is amazing. Okay, so... The next thing I'm going to talk about is that it is effective, okay? So one, we just heard her story of how effective they are, but I'm going to talk about, let's see which one I'll go to next. I'll talk, well, I don't have that one with me. The lemon, okay, so let's talk about the lemon next. So I'm just going to hold it up for a second. Um, she says... She, Margie loves the peppermint or hot chocolate in the morning, but only do one drop. Yeah, so one drop is, is very powerful. So when I'm doing it, like in my coffee, I'll make sure it's a 16 ounce coffee with one drop. Otherwise, it's just too strong for me. You know, it's too much. Um, okay, so lemon. I'm just going to show, for example, excuse my nails. Um, they're beyond, they need help. So anyway, I will try to get that done before my next week video. <laughs> So lemon, or actually before we talk about lemon, let's talk about, pretend that this is the cell in your body, right? Okay, um, around your cell is an oil membrane, okay? 
Um, if you get sick, and let's say it's a bacterial infection, the bacteria goes on the outside of the cell. Okay, so what happens if you get a bacterial infection and you go to the doctor? They give you medication, right? And it will kill the bacteria. If you have a virus and you go to the doctor and you say, what do I do? They'll say, go home, what, what do they say? Drink water, let it run its course, right? So, um, because medications are water soluble, so they can get the bacteria, no problem, but it can't go in to this, um, Karen says she's getting a dipping power manicure last three weeks, no chips. I'm gonna have to look into that. <laughs> this was just some cheap stuff I did with my daughter. We ditched it for fun, so it's peeling very quickly. Um, so what if you, so what people are doing now, they're taking essential oils, and they're, when you put an essential oil on the body, whether you breathe it in, you put it on your skin, or take it internally, which we'll talk about those ways, your body, there's different spots that it can go, right, that, that you would maybe want to do it over another way, but your body knows what to do, like this is nature, your, your body like, just knows what to do with it. So it will take the oil and bring it to the cells that it needs to go to, right? It's interesting, I'm not a doctor, so don't ask me to explain how it works, I don't know, but I just know that it will find the place that it needs to go, and oils can penetrate through an oil membrane, right? Because water and oils don't mix, but oil and oil mix, so it can get inside of the cell. So that's your biology 101. You can see how effective the oils are, right? Yes, our bodies are awesome. They know what to do. Like, this is not a foreign um, material or, you know, it's natural, so the, again, it just works really well with the bottle. Yeah, the body knows what to do. It knows how to take care of us, okay? Uh, the body wants to take care of us, and the oils work and address the issues to, to get the root causes on the ce cellular level, right? So we're not like hiding, masking up the symptoms, we're really getting to the root cause, okay? And I think that's really important, and, and I think one of the things too, especially the people that are, that are into oils, you start looking at the different symptoms, and you start digging deeper, right? But we don't want to just put band-aids on things. We really do want to get to figure out what's off. You know, what can we do about it? And it just kind of leads, it's like you open up a can of worms, right? But it's a fun can. Because <laughs> then you find all these other areas that you want to just work on and constantly try to get better at. So it, that's a good thing. Okay, so the last thing is, so that first they were natural, they were effective. Now they're safe, okay? So again, um, these are things that I had no clue about. So there's four different types of essential oils, okay? So the first kind of essential oil is the one that we're all using all the time, but we don't realize it, right? Well, hopefully we're not using them, but they're the synthetic oils. They're the ones in your perfumes, in your furniture polishes, your cleaners. You know, I really, I hope that you guys are not using them. Oh, I was going to talk about the oil. I'll leave that out so I talk about that. I, I, I want to talk about all ten of them. I was going to try to go in order, but that's okay. Um, but anyway, so we're using those oils every day. They're not good for us. They don't have any benefit to us, right? Um, the second kind is the food, ex the food extracts and the food flavorings. They have little oils, and they have a, um, a standard called grass. It's like generally regarded as safe. So they're FDA approved, but they're generally safe. We don't actually even know. So it's kind of weird. I don't know. Are you guys getting a lag? I feel like I'm getting a little bit um, internet is spotty right now. Anyway, so the third kind is therapeutic. And that's the kind if you go to a chiropractor or you go to a spa. Um, hi, Bonnie. Welcome. Another Bonnie. Um, then you are going to get the, then you're going to get them. Um, they might have some health benefits as far as it's relaxing you, but you wouldn't take those internally, right? Then the fourth kind, that's DoTerra's kind. It is the highest level of standard. They actually created their own standard because they recognized there wasn't a standard in oils, and we hope that everyone reaches the same standard. But it's called um, CPTG, Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade. Okay, so that's the highest level of essential oils, okay, they're certified pure, they are considered medicinal, right? Every bottle is gonna have the exact same thing. So that means what you get today in your lemon bottle is gonna be the same thing you get next month, and the next month, and the next month. Um, everything's been tested, everything is um, verified safe, so every, every batch you know you're getting the good stuff. So if they just test one time, they keep testing it. 
are, all the plants are harvested in their natural habitat. So example, this is from Italy. So they, they didn't just grow their own plant, they went to Italy to find where the best lemons are grown and that's where they are getting theirs, okay? Um, Melucas from Australia and um, lavenders from France, right? So they go, getting some weird color, there we go. So all of their, their oils are where their, their plant is naturally grown. So I don't know if any of you guys have been to Hawaii or if you had a Hawaiian pineapple, that's probably your best tasting pineapple you ever had because um, that's where pineapples taste the best, right? So if I took that same seed and I brought it here to Chicago and I, and I grew that pineapple, it's not going to have the same um, taste or compounds or even probably vitamins or benefits, right? Because it's, it's not meant to grow here. So that's the same thing with the, the plants where they get their um, oils from, the 42 states. So they go there, they, they go to the natural place where it's from, then they have a distillery, so everything's distilled within 24 hours, okay? And then now they're asking what can they do to, to give back? So they'll build their community a school, or they're, like, they're looking to see what can they do to help the whole community. And, and it's not just about um, trying to get the best deal. They'll pay 20 to 30% more to these farmers to really give back and to we're trying to make an impact on the whole world. So I just love that. But anyway, they're also beyond organic, verified, pure, free of fillers, pesticides, um, stringent third-party testing on every batch to ensure powerful benefits without harmful side effects, right? So every bottle is going to be the same. It's tested on site right after shipped. Every bottle. We're in 42 countries. Yes, Marjorie, that's why we choose doTERRA. So, okay. For some reason, it like got really dark on me. I don't know if, if that's just my phone. So with the lemon, because I want to kind of just kind of break it up a little bit here. Um, in the files in our group, I actually did post um, what I'm looking at. Actually, I have a few things. So one, if you go to ShareSuccess.com, I'm looking at the Natural Solutions Guide, ShareSuccess.com, that you can print it out or read more information about doTERRA. Um, and then in this private group that we're in, I posted the, sh the top 10 printable is what it's called. And we'll go a little over lots of details on the top 10 oils. Also, if you are not in our group but you're watching the recording, I have on my blog, bonniedonahue.com, if you go to the top, um, in one of the drop downs under essential oils, you're going to see the 150 uses for the top 10 oils. Okay, so, um, but I have that, print, that um, handout just for you guys in this group here who are watching this live. Okay, so lemon, for example, it is amazing. So all the citrus oils are cold pressed from the rind. Okay, so this requires 3,000 lemons to get a kilo of oil. Okay, it's pretty crazy. So some of the popular uses for lemon are air pollution, anxiety, uh, bites or stings, cold sores, concentration, helps with depression, dry throat, fever, exhaustion, flu, um, hangovers, heartburn. I'm just reading a few of these things. Um, water purification, that's huge. Actually, I, I do my lemon in my water every day in the morning. Now I'm doing it with my greens, so I'll do my greens with lemon in it. And um, it helps with balancing my pH and um, helping my, you know, my metabolism and flush it out. That's why I use lemon. Plus it tastes good and it's also a really good natural cleaner. So we use a lot of lemon in this house. Remember I'm not curing or diagnosing or anything, but I'm just saying these are what some of the, the people use the, the lemon for. Um, you can apply this one topically, okay? Um, but, it, so if you are going into the sunlight, you never use a citrus oil in front of the sunlight for up to 12 hours, okay? Um, you could diffuse it, helps help that make the air smell so clean and it cleans the air. Um, or internally, you could do one or two drops under the tongue, which I actually have not done that because I feel like that would be really powerful, but I do add it to water and I'll drink it in water, one drop per four ounces of water. Um, and then you can use it as cooking. Like I know some people use it to help flavor their chicken, like lemon chicken or something like that. So a lot of good things for um, for lemon. In, if you're looking in the sheet, they're going to talk about the properties, the historical uses, um, like it used to help with food poisoning, um, 
a lot of different cool things and blends and how to use the lemon. So make sure you check out that that thing. We just talked about peppermint. I do want to talk about frankincense. Okay, so frankincense oil is the king of all oils. It's the most like popular oil, right? It's, it's one of the top sellers um, because it works, right? They say, when in doubt, bring your frankincense out because it helps with everything. And when you add a drop of frankincense to another oil, then it will just maximize that oil's benefits. So it's pretty cool. Okay, quickly before I go into all of these, the three ways of using oils are one, aromatically, right? You can breathe it in through a diffuser or put it on, like breathe it in your hand, like drop, drop it in your hand and then breathe it in. Um, and, and basically everything that you're, you're breathing in, like at first I thought, well, why the heck does that work? Just breathing in, what does that do, right? But it goes right through the olfactory nerve right to the limbic system, okay? And so if you were to go to um, get uh, surgery or teeth worked out and they had to pass, you know, you had to put you out for a while, that's how they would do it, through a gas mask, right? Because you breathe it in, it's faster than any other way to get, to get that um, stuff into your body, right? So that's the same thing with oil. So if you're having a mood, breathe it in, it will help your mood right away, you know? It helps my moods <laughs> a lot. So um, I'm like really in love with the emotional therapy line, but that's for another day. Okay, so then you could use it topically. You could put it right on the bottoms of your feet. It's the best place to put oils, right? Um, your feet have the biggest pores. They're also the least sensitive spot in your body. Um, and you're, again, your body knows what to do with it. So if you're not sure what to do with the oil, you put it on the bottom of your feet and it will go into your body and find the spot that it needs to go to. Um, there's a few other like oils that you can put in different places. So like there's an oil digest and you could put it right in the belly to help with digesting. If you have uh, acne or wrinkle, you probably want to put it right on your face, right? So it, um, lavender or, pep or um, lavender and maluka I use around the ears if like uh, ear infection's coming on, you can do that. So there's certain oils and things you want to put on the body, but when you're not sure and you're first getting started, the feet is a great spot. Um, and diluting if you're using with kids, but also diluting oregano. And I'll talk about that one too because it's so powerful and it should be diluted. Doesn't matter what age you are, dilute it, okay? Because it's a hot oil. And then um, internally, and that is using the water, putting a drop of the water. Some people put oils right on their tongue. I'm not really a fan of that, um, but I will do it in a capsule. And um, there's certain ones you can do in the capsule. And I just put them in. I usually do it during a class. I don't have any with me right here, but um, you just open up a little veggie cap, put a drop or two in, and then boom, in your mouth, okay? The only ones you cannot do that on are they have a safety cap, like this is deep blue in wintergreen and it's not because they're like harmful it's because you it has wintergreen in it and you want to take it wintergreen internally okay so um but they all say which on the bottles which ones you can do internally it will say one drop per ounces and it will say supplement facts so you know it's like a supplement so um you don't need to be afraid of it um it took me months to get comfortable with the idea of doing it internally actually um and besides the citrus ones because i just add those to my water and it's fine um, and now I just feel like totally good about it. Because of cooking, you could as for water, add it just to the capsules and just take it in. Um, but these are only doTERRA ones I'm talking about. I don't know what's in the store, so I'm not gonna, like, when I was at Target the other day and I found oils and I was just like nosy, so I was just like, what's this Target oil? And it says right on the bottle, do not use topically or internally. So I'm like, what kind of oil is this? I don't know what it is, right? I don't know. And so I would never trust that. So I'm only talking about doTERRA oils. And yeah, so that's, and Margie says, um, lemon and grapefruit in her water. Yeah, I love lemon, lime, grapefruit, lemon sassy, even peppermint I'll drink in water. It's really good. And actually lemon, lemon and peppermint together mixed are really good. Um, what else do I do? Wild orange is amazing in the water. It's amazing. Okay, so let's go back to we oh, were on frankincense. That's where I was at. Okay, so frankincense is with great for um, confusion. That's one of the things that really helps me with if I'm feeling like stressed out or crazy or in not in a good mood or feeling like overwhelmed with life or I look at my emails and I'm like, ah, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Frankincense will help me bring me back to real life and like 
I know it's okay, right? Coughs, depression, um, immune system support. It's huge, huge, huge with the immune system. Helps with vision, inflammation. Inflammation is huge. It really helps with that. Um, it's helped with my inflammation a lot. Like I, I'm pretty sure I had like 20 pounds of inflammation. You know, it could have been, it could have been just weight, but I swear it was inflammation. I had it everywhere. And so last year, this time I was 20 pounds heavier. And again, I don't know if it was just weight or just a lot of water weight or inflammation or, or what it, or what exactly it was. Cause I was going to the gym like an hour a day and I could not lose it. I didn't know what was going on. And all I know is I started using the oils and my weight started falling off. So, and I've, I've kept it off, you know, for, for uh, over a year now. So it's kind of crazy. Like I did say I'm on the paleo diet, but I was on the paleo before I added the oils and the weight was still like really slow to come off. Right. So again, I did a lot of the slim and sassy. I did the oils in the water, cleansed out. I had more energy, so maybe my workouts were better too. So I, I don't know exactly what it is, but all I know is when I did start using the oils and the supplements, the weight that I was struggling with um, it started coming off. So I don't know. Just I think it just helped my body just do what it's naturally supposed to do, right? You know, so I'm not like all for one diet or one thing. I feel like, again, everything works differently for people, like different people. Um, yeah, it's the combination. And so, um, I posted before and I don't have, I don't know if I have another picture, but, um, I was a good full size eight and, and now I'm very comfortably at a four. So that's about four sizes, right? Um, and, and, and I have four kids. And so anyway, they work. That was like another extra benefit that I was hoping, but I, I wasn't sure they were going to do that, but anyway, um, it helps with viruses, helps with warts, wrinkles. It's really good for wrinkles on the face, the frankincense. Um, you can use it topically, okay, neat, so that means you don't have to even dilute the oil if you don't want, okay, because it's not going to be too strong on your skin. You can diffuse it. You can place one or two drops under your tongue or in a capsule. I do not put them on my tongue, but I know a lot of people actually knew one natural doctor who did put a drop underneath your tongue every day just for the benefits. Um, if you've never smelled frankincense before, it's very um, strong. Some people, I feel like maybe they wouldn't love it, but I'm like drawn to it. So, so the oils that you're drawn to, like you tend to need more. So like I know I need the frankincense and I love the smell of frankincense. Um, but I, I, I believe everyone should kind of listen to their own body and the oils that you do, like after, you, like let's say you get your kit and you smell all of them, the ones that like smell so good to you, you probably need those. It's very weird, but it, that's, that's how it works. And same thing with your kids. If you just have them smell them and they're just like, that one smells so good, they, they probably need that oil, um, you know, so just crazy. But um, you could do so many different things with your frankincense. Okay. I mean, really it's amazing. So then we talked about the lemon, the peppermint, Melluca, the tea tree oil. Oh man, this is a good oil too. Um, again, if you feel like I kind of mentioned the earaches, but if you have, um, the lemon, I mean the, the lavender and the Melluca together around the ear, that's really good. Um, if you have kids and they get ear infections, um, to put, around or you can put a drop in a cotton ball and just like tape the cotton ball to the ear um, you're not going to put oils in the ears don't ever do that um, but um, just it would just kind of like breathe it in or just around so many moms swear by that I use Melluca for the skin okay um, I, I use it if we are out in the sun too much it's good with lavender on the body um, I'll mix aloe vera gel and vitamin E oil with Melluca and lavender after coming in from the, from the sun or the beach because we go to the beach all the time. Um, it is really good for around the, the nails and feet, the fingernails and feet. If you have athlete's foot or nail fungus, it's really good for that. Helps with canker sores. It helps with candida, cold sores, um, ear aches, ear infections, immune support, infected wounds, stings, um, shingles, warts, um, 
so many different things. Okay, so Melluca tea tree is very powerful. It's called the tea tree oil. Okay, I don't know if it says it on there, but that's what it is. How many of you guys have used Melluca? Just really good. It smells good too. It smells fresh, like really, really fresh. So it can be applied neat, right? Um, and you can put it to the, to the reflex uh, points of your body. You could diffuse it, inhale, bring it in. Splinters. Oh, how do you use it for splinters? You just put it right on it, and then does the, does the splinter come out? That's interesting. Um, or you can take it internally in a capsule. Not all of Velucas can. Um, doTERRA's you can. Um, let's see here. What else? I don't want to say too much, but I also want to give a good, you know, informational class, right? But not, not to overload. So lavender, I'll talk about this one. So I'm going over the top 10 oils because these are the, the mo ones people start with mostly. Um, this is steam distilled from the top of the flower, right? From the lavender flower. It is really good for allergies, anxiety, appetite loss, burns. So if you cook a lot, you need to have a bottle just in your kitchen for when you burn yourself. So I don't know if you guys are like me, but I've burned myself a few times. Or like my son, I say don't touch it and he mm, touches it and then he burns his finger. So if you put this right on to the burn, literally, I, I, it's like I don't want to say I'm like doing some sort of magic here, but... <laughs> Um, you put it on the burn, the redness goes away, and it just stops burning. It does not blister up. It's really crazy how powerful this is. So, um, and Karen says that your daughter's doctor prescribed it for a grandson who had a splinter in his foot and came out in two days. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, and, and, and um, Casey just got her oils. Yay, so now you can use them. And it cleared up an infection. Awesome, you guys. Good stuff. Um... Helps with chicken pox, dandruff, depression. I, I know it helps with, for me, relaxing. I love to take uh, baths. I'm pretty much like the only one that I know who takes baths, right? But um, at the end of the night, that's my self-care. It's my, my like way to relax after the crazy day with four kids, right? So I'll add this with Epsom salt. I buy the 30 pound bags at Amazon and then some baking soda, some body gel, and then lavender and it's a really great bath. Um, hair loss helps with jet lag, helps with mood and mental stress, mosquito um, repellent, pain, um, sleep issues, stress, stretch marks, tension, teething or um, grinding. You can like rub it right on the, the, the jawline, vertigo, um, and wrinkles so there's a whole list of things but lavender is a must-have like all these are must have so you're like you're gonna buy your kit and you don't need to rebuy this every month right so maybe lemon you'll use the most um, depending on on everything but like your oregano you're probably gonna this will be the only one you buy unless you're like me and you have like a major thing and you need to like load up on um, immunity products right um, so a lot of these are gonna last you for years, right? So it's, it's worth the investment because now you have these at all, all the time, whenever you wanna grab for something natural, right, you have something. Okay, so with the lavender, you can actually just apply it neat to the body, right? Uh, put it on the areas of ref, uh, reflex points directly, or the area directly of concern. Um, you can diffuse it or place one or two drops again under the tongue or in a capsule. I do. N I would not do it under the tongue. That to me, lavender would probably taste nasty. But I do know some people use lavender in like frostings that they've made. I don't love the smell of lavender. Um, some people love it. I don't. So maybe it's an oil that I'm not like drawn to. Right? We just talked about. But um, so I probably wouldn't put it in a cupcake. But some people love putting it in their cupcakes. Um, I think there's a recipe on doTERRA's website for that actually. So oregano, here's one that I am drawn to because I do need this one and it smells not that great. It's like you're, when I, um, I remember when I was putting this on, and literally someone told me I smell like pizza, right? Because it's very strong. I had the bottom of my feet. Now if you take it internally, you won't smell as much like it, right? Um, so anyway, so the oregano is the steam distilled from the herb, right? But it is one of the most powerful um, immune building oils. So this is the one that Hyde Parker Keith used a lot, right? Um, it is powerful, 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 okay? So it helps with um, athlete's foot, candida, canker sores, 
um, immune system, it stimulates the immune system, helps with inflammation, um, parasites, MRSA, muscle aches, parasites, plague, pneumonia, ringworm, staph infection, um, warts. Actually, one thing that someone just shared, they had a really bad wart on their kids and they put a drop on it and wrapped it in a Band-Aid. Now, I'm guessing it would have stung like crazy, so I don't know if they used um, coconut oil with it because that's how we dilute, we use coconut oil. Um, but it worked. So she showed pictures of it before and after so that she could not get the warts out of her daughter. And then she used oregano and it worked. Um, so it's, it's super powerful. So you can dilute. If you dilute one um, drop to three drops of carrier oil. So, dang it, I don't have my carrier oil with me. So I, it's in my kitchen. So I use, though Tara has like a small little droppers, so you can put in your hand three drops of coconut oil and then you add one drop of oregano. And that's a good way of diluting it if you want to put it on the bottom of your foot or maybe rub it on the warts um, or, you know, whatever. But I would put the oregano on your feet, right? Because it's a really sensitive spot. Um, Dilute more heavily for children over six or for those who have sensitive skin. Apply it directly to area concern or reflex points. Again, I would do the bottom of my feet. This is strong stuff. I have very strong skin, so it doesn't really affect me as much, but um, some people have very sensitive skin. But this is the one they say, dilute, dilute, dilute. So oregano, so you're diluting one. Um, you can diffuse it, um, use it, um, you know, just like breathe in from the bottle, dilute and take into capsule or as flavoring and cooking. But it's strong, so a little goes a long way, right? It is antibacterial, antifungal, antiparasitic, antiseptic to respiratory systems, antiviral. I mean, it's like anti-everything, okay? It's kind of like garlic, the, the garlic of oils. It does everything. Okay, so that one's really powerful. It's actually so powerful, they say, only use it for 10 days in a row, and then you have to give your body a break. Kind of like you're on a medication, you give your body a break, and then you can take it again, okay? Um, soothing Blend is the next one. So this is our Deep Blue product, okay? Um, the, this has a mix. This is our blend. This is one of our special blends. It has the wintergreen, which is why you can't take it internally. It has a safety cap on it. It has... A whole bunch of oils. I'm not going to list all of them, but it has helichrysum, which is an amazing oil for um, for healing. Um, it has the blue tansy, and that's why it's blue, right? There's a whole bunch of other flowers and chamomile and a whole bunch of, of oils in here mixed. But this is a oil for joint and muscle pain. So arthritis, back pain, bone, bone pain, bruises, bursitis, fibromyalgia, inflammation, joint pain, muscle aches, pain, muscle tension, pain headache tensions and whiplash. Like literally, if you are in pain, you need this. I can't say enough. My husband uses it, he has a bad back. We also use the blend, I mean the lotion, the, the cream, okay, we call it the rub. Um, one of the things, I don't really have any bad pain, but what I do is I hold a lot of my stress in my neck here, so I will actually take a few drops or, or, or dilute it, and I'll rub it right on my back. Or I will use the rub, and when I am getting PMS cramps, because I still suffer from cramps too, like when I'm PMSing, it's not as bad. Sometimes I don't have any cramps, and then sometimes I do, so I'm obviously still working through my PMS issues, but um, I don't need to use the Midol because I will use the, I like the rub, I really like the rub, I feel like it's really powerful, but I'll use the rub on my cramps and it works and it works fast and I've got like tons of women hooked on it. So you need the Clary Calm for your mood and then you'll use the Deep Blue on the cramps and it really does work. So that's kind of like my secret that I do. Um, but people put other in the back and a joint, wherever. And that was the one that we were talking about earlier, how awesome it is. So yeah, Margie, use the touchy and the rub, yep. Okay, so the next one is Protective Blend and this is a must for everybody. Um, especially if you have kids because this is how you're going to keep your home and your family safe and clean and pure and protected, right? So this is, uh, again, a special blend that doTERRA made up. It has orange, clove bud, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, rosemary. It's just such a powerful oil. It smells beautiful, right? It's, it smells like fall, like 
if you diffuse it in the winter or it smells like you're baking something beautiful and it's a trick because it's just your diffuser um, people are gonna want to start eating your food um, okay so this one helps with air pollution it's antibacterial antifungal antiviral helps with bladder infections candida chronic fatigue cleansing cold sores colds coughs flu um, infections lupus mono MRSA pneumonia sore throat warts yeah it's chemical free um, this is really good to diffuse like nonstop during the winter to keep your house like free of germs and protected right but some of the things that you can do with it is you can massage it into the throat if you have a sore throat diluted right or in the stomach and in the intestines or the bottom of the feet depending on what issue you have going on you can dilute one drop to 15 drops of coconut oil right so if you have your hand or if you're making a roller bottle you know um, you can do that one drop to 15 drops of oil if you get the di the doTERRA coconut oil it comes out like in drops so that's how you can easily dilute things okay um, at first I thought it was annoying because I'm like oh my gosh it's only coming out one drop at a time that's to help you to dilute it so you know how you want to dilute things okay um, so anyway so then you can you can do that you can massage it to the thymus to stimulate the immune system massage under the arms to stimulate the lymphatic system okay it's, it's best applied to the bottoms of the feet um, because it could be you could be sensitive because it does have clove in it and some you know cinnamon some stronger oils um, but so dilute with the fraction of coconut oil when on sensitive skin or young skin and you can diffuse it okay um, there's just amazing oils in there so the next one is the respiratory blend so that's the breathe oil okay this is one of the oils that got my husband hooked on oils um, because he was having some issues and breathing respiratory issues and I said I don't know if this is gonna work <laughs> try it I heard it's gonna work and we put two drops in his hand he breathed in for 30 seconds I said breathe it in for 30 seconds or 10 big breaths and just did that and then literally within a few minutes he was like it opened up the airways and he was like, okay sorry I was just getting a phone call um, so I just did that okay so this oil is good for anxiety anxiety asthma bronchitis congestion cough um, uh, the flu pneumonia respiratory system a whole bunch of things anything that has to do with nasal or respiratory this is your oil okay it can be applied right to the chest the back or the bottoms of the feet okay or um, aromatically you could diffuse it right into the air you could apply it to the palms cup it in like I said when you're doing that you can actually breathe it in your nose and open your mouth and breathe it in your mouth too and just breathe it in okay breathe deeply inhale the aroma just really let the oils work okay so uh, Margie says she'll do breathe in serenity in our diffusers at night two drops each works awesome awesome yeah and it, and a lot of times actually I know a lot of women have come to me with their husbands having snoring problems so then they can't sleep and it's like it's a bad cycle and so they'll diffuse the breathe and it helps um, them both sleep better then you know and that has amazing amazing oils in that blend so digestive blend is the next one and it's called digest Zen okay so this one helps uh, again, it's a, it's a specific blend for doTERRA, okay, but it helps with bloating, uh, lightus, constipation, cramps, Crohn's disease, diarrhea, food poisoning, nausea, heartburn, parasites, um, you know, and more. It's awesome. So you can take this a few different ways. You can rub it right in the belly. You can rub it um, right in your feet. You can take it under your tongue take it in a capsule it smells like black licorice so you're either gonna like it or not okay so some people love it some people hate it I'm, I'm guess I'm neutral to it um, my son has a stomach sensitive stomach when we go out to eat so we'll come home and we'll like rub this on his belly or I have a keychain of it and we'll rub it on while he's there or take a capsule and um, it really works and it works pretty fast too um, Margie says she has acid reflux and it works wonderful um, even better since I'm off all off pharmaceuticals awesome yeah I mean my one friend who was pregnant she would get really bad heartburn and so she put one drop diluted on her chest and um, heartburn gone okay 
Um, so again, let's see what it says. It says you can apply it to reflex points on the feet or on the ankles. It could also be applied over the stomach. Um, you can compress it to the abdomen. Um, you can even to the bottom of the throat if you need to, for, if, you're, if you have a gagging issue. Um, you can apply to animals' paws if they have parasites. Okay, diffuse it. You could use it internally as a dietary supplement. Dilute one drop per four ounces of water or soy or rice milk. Sip slowly. Um, also, um, there's information if you want to figure out how to do an enema. We won't go there today, right, with this. Okay. Uh, plus, I'm not an expert in that area, so I, I would be the blind leading the blind with that one. Okay, so there's great, air, great oils in there. So, I think I actually covered... All of the top 10, Deep Blue, Maluka, Lemon Breathe, Oregano, Peppermint, On Guard, Lavender, Frankincense, Digest Sun. Okay, perfect, so that's all of them. I know this was a longer class than I thought, but I hope that you guys were learning and getting good information um, from the class. I actually love teaching these and going over everything. The The information that I posted, again, go ahead, you can print out the the printout, it's actually 12 pages long, so you might just wanna look at it online or um, save it to your phone or whatever, but I posted it to the group. So this is the, the private oil class. Thanks, Margie. Okay, so let's talk about the freebies. And I've got my son coming in. He always tries to make an appearance. Hi, Andrew. You're on the video, do you wanna say hi? Hi. Yeah? I'm hungry. You're hungry? Okay, so let me finish up my class and I'll feed you. How's that? Can you say hi? And where's your shirt? Hi. And what do you got in your pocket? Money. You got your money? Yeah. Let's see. You want to show them what you got? Wow, that's cool. Alrighty. Okay. If I don't like let him in the video, then he'll just cry or something. So. Alrighty. Love you. Do you want to talk about what's your favorite oil? Do you like your essential oils? Yeah. Which one do you like? Do you like when I roll them onto you? Yeah. Do you like your PB Assist? Yeah. Yeah, he loves the probiotic. That's like one of his favorite ones. Do you want to go get one and you can show everyone how you take it? Mm. Hmm? Um, no. No? All right, so let's talk about the, the oils, okay, and how to get them, how to get started. Okay, so all these oils, like literally these are the best oils to start with, okay? This is the Home Essential Kit. These are the top 10 oils. They're all the big size. These are the 250 drops, 15 milliliters. Hold on, baby. Let's talk as soon as I'm done with this. This is the only small one, okay, because they don't make it. You want to talk now? Okay, what? I can buy a chocolate and a gumball. Oh, boy. There's this new um, sweets shop by us, and I never, I never let them do that, but you can buy one truffle. For a dollar, so now he's trying to save up for the, for no, the truffle. No, not one truffle. I, I can buy also a gumball. A gumball, okay. Um, we go downtown on Thursday nights as a family, and so sometimes I'll splurge and get them something. Okay, alrighty, so these are the top oils, okay. And then it also comes with your diffuser, okay? The, it's a $50 diffuser, US dollars. It's two seventy-five dollars for this kit, which is a steal, right? It's gonna last you for years. Right now, today's the last day of the month, right? This is the last day of June, June 30th. You're gonna get the best anti-aging roller bottle for free. So if you're watching this recording later, it's, you cannot get it. This is almost a $100 bottle right here. This will work wonders on your wrinkles or stretch marks or whatever you know issue you're going through. So that's Immortel. We call it liquid gold, literally, because it's liquid gold. Yes, it is the best. Um, and so that's a gift from doTERRA. Okay, what I'm doing, for anyone who gets started today, um, it's a little bit different than the other specials that I've been doing, but everyone will get a case. It has the top 10, or no, it doesn't come with the oils. You buy the oils, but it has 10 spots for all your oils that you put in there. It, help, it is for, it will fit roller bottles, big size bottles, and small size bottles, okay? And then the other um, special, if you get started, there's two more things. Just because it's the last day of the month and I just feel like wanting to do this, 
I'm gonna add inside of your case, I'm gonna add one mystery oil from my stash. So it's just one extra special oil that I have that you're gonna get that, plus your Immortal, plus your case. And then anyone who gets on their LRP, which is your loyalty reward program, which is an optional program for everybody, um, and you get started, um, like it's like you say, okay, I'm gonna buy this the next month, right? It's your special, but you get free products from doTERRA for doing that. Then I'm gonna gift them the Essential Life book. Okay, so it's a pretty sweet deal. We've had multiple people take um, advantage of, of this deal. Was, last week was the first time I did that, and it was pretty amazing. So um, people seem to like it. So um, that's what I'm gonna do for people to get started today, just because I'm super excited and pumped. And so if you know anyone who wants to get started, this is literally, um, you know, at the best time and we're excited. We love getting people started with oils. It's one of our favorite things to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this class. Yes, we love the LRP. It is amazing. So I didn't go into a ton of detail because I don't want to confuse people, but it's this optional loyalty reward program. Every month, if you have a qualifying order before the certain date, you're going to get a free product from doTERRA every month, which everybody does that. And you get free points for buying on your LRP. So that means basically you get free products. Same thing with shipping. And so like right now in my cart, I have hundreds of dollars of free points to buy free products with. So it's pretty awesome. So like we get paid for, you know, sharing and then we also get paid free product for buying. It's pretty cool, it's awesome. If you guys have ever thought about wanting to actually partner with us and start your own oil journey, like as far as the business side, let me know and I'll help you get started, okay? We can do an oil class like this for your friends or even if you don't wanna do the business but you wanna have an oil class, let me know, I'll host one for you that's just like this. Um, you get a free website from doTERRA to order. I'll put the links be um, below this, right, so you know how to order, but you can go to my website. Um, if you're ever not sure what my website is, just go to my blog, bonniedonahue.com and go to the Start Here page and it explains all the details on how to get started. Then I will add you to our Facebook groups, um, send you out some emails, send out your welcome package, and we will get you going with your getting started call. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging in there. I know this is a little bit longer than normal. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Happy Friday. Bye.